Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. So this is video number seven of the coronavirus video series so far. And in this video, what am I talking about? Well, I want to talk about isolation. Why we should isolate, when to isolate, how long to isolate for, and the science behind the isolation advice. And I'm also going to talk to you about when you should break your isolation. When does it become necessary for you to break your isolation? So let's get started. So let's look at why we have been advised to self-isolate. And also you need to know when to escalate your COVID-19 concern. Uh, because if you're self-isolating and your symptoms are getting worse, then you need to know when you should seek medical attention. Very, very important. Now, the overriding medical advice is that we should stay at home for seven days. If you have a fever, you have a new continuous cough. Now, cough is a very common symptom in the population. So we have to qualify the cough. Uh, so if you're coughing a lot for more than an hour, or you have three or more coughing episodes in 24 hours, then that cough qualifies and you should uh, self-isolate. So why have we been advised to self-isolate? Well, the whole idea is to reduce the spread of the COVID-19 virus in the community. The government scientists, they've been crunching the numbers and they've worked out that if we do this, there should be a 25% reduction in the peak of the COVID-19 virus in the community. Okay, so this is very important to combat the spread. Now, there's a second aspect to the self-isolation. And that is, if you live with someone who has symptoms, then you should stay at home for 14 days. Uh, this can be very confusing. Uh, the question is, when do you start counting? Uh, do I start counting today, yesterday? Uh, well, the advice is that you should count from the day the person with the symptoms in your household first actually experienced those symptoms. So if the person in your household developed, say, a cough, yesterday then you have to start counting from yesterday and 14 days from then on you can then break your self-isolation and that is household isolation and the government scientists they've also crunched the numbers and they've worked out that if we do household isolation that will lead to a 50 percent reduction in the peak of the community spread of the covid 19 virus so you are at home and you are self-isolating. When should you escalate your concern and seek urgent medical attention? Well, the first thing I would say is that you should seek medical attention at any point if you're unsure about what's happening to you. Okay, that's the first thing I would say. Seek attention at any time that you're unsure of what's ha actually happening to you. But in these circumstances, you really, really have to seek urgent medical attention. If you have difficulty breathing, if you have shortness of breath, if you are becoming confused, if you're drowsy, if you are blue in the face or lips, then of course you really, really need to seek urgent medical attention. Uh, well, the becoming confused and drowsy and blue in the face is probably going to be noticed by uh, someone living in your household. So if anyone in your household has symptoms and they're becoming confused, they're becoming drowsy or they're becoming blue in the face, then please pick up the phone and seek medical attention urgently. Because all of this suggests that infection is now uh, tracking down to the lower respiratory tract and you're probably developing inflammation of the lungs. So uh, urgent attention is needed. So there you go. Hopefully you got some value from this video. As usual, uh, please share this video with your friends, family and colleagues. And the series continue. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking about when the coronavirus is most infectious okay so uh, that's what's coming up in the next uh, couple of hours expect that video uh, soon uh, so see you then